You're listening to Super Co-op Squad, episode 20. Garrett? Is that you? What, what's going on with your voice, dude? Hey, welcome and thank you for joining us on episode 20 of the Super Co-op Squad video game podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Mack, and I'm joined with my fellow host, Garrett. Hi. How's it going, man? It's, uh, it's going pretty good. Pretty pretty sad to hear you didn't like uh, Lego Batman that much. Yeah, we'll probably. We, we might get we'll, into it. We'll see. We'll touch base. And I'm here with my other host, Joshua. da na 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 I like the haircut. Thanks. Yeah, man, looking good. That's not good radio to talk about a haircut, but it looks yeah. sharp, man. People call me Blake more and more and more. You look just like Blake Griffin. He looks like me. I'm the older one. Do some work if you're listening and try to find Joshua on social media and then compare a picture <laughs> of Blake Griffin. It looks just like him. Uh, so today, guys, uh, we are very happy to have with us a very special guest. Uh, if you didn't notice, it wasn't uh, one of our voices there on the uh, on the intro. Uh, Garrett, who do we have sitting down with us today? We have the lovely, the beautiful, Angelica. Hey, guys. I'm amazing. She's my girlfriend. <laughs> right. So, so amazing. <laughs> so amazing. Awesome. So our second guest and, a, and another one of our um, significant others. You're up next, sir. Oh, you're calling me out? <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll let you know. New time. New oh, time. man. Yeah, so happy to have you on the show, Angelica. Thank you. I yeah. just would like to point out that I was invited. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. You were definitely invited. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so real quick before we get into our content guys, uh, this is your spoiler warning. It's a thing. Uh, this is going to happen. Uh, if, if you don't want it to happen, grab our show notes. You can get those from our website, supercoopsquad.wordpress.com, or make it easy on yourself. Just go ahead and click on the, uh, the details and or the description of the episode, and there'll be a nice pretty little link there for you. It's going to be easy for you to grab them from there. Uh, use those to skip any sections that you don't want to have ruined. What? Really? Yes. We're doing that. We're doing that. That's just weird. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, so this week, guys, there's quite a bit of news. We'll be getting into, into uh, some info on the Lego company that Joshua pulled up. This has been a record year for them over uh, quite a quite a bit of money that they made this year. Uh, as far as uh, some interesting stuff, for the Avatar, James Cameron announces his plans for uh, the Avatar sequels. And uh, if you're into uh, Kong Skull Island, they've got some interesting new stuff regarding some sequels and some, uh, some head-to-head battles for that. To start the episode off, though... YouTube announces its very own streaming service titled YouTube TV. Oh, Just, original. Right, yeah, it's not very, not a very good title, I think. We talked about Game Pass. I thought that fit for Xbox last week, but this is a little too on the nose. Um, service is going to cost 35 bucks a month, so we'll, we'll talk about that price there. Uh, it's going to allow subscribers to stream and view content from over 40 major networks, including Fox, CBS, ABC, NBC, uh, Fox Sports, and more. Um, what do you guys think about this? Uh, okay, YouTube TV, I, it already didn't work for me with, what was it called, YouTube Red? Some premium uh, subscription they have, for whatever reason, I guess you just get no ads? Right, but I think, yeah, a little bit different though, because YouTube Red is specifically only for uh, created content from, from YouTube, where you cut the ads. So this is going to be, I think, um, in addition to that, where if you subscribe to this, you also get access to YouTube Red. With no commercials? No commercials, that's right. So you'll have no commercials with... They, they created content. They weren't very clear, though, if you get commercials with, like, a Fox TV show. So uh. they could get us there. So we'll see. Josh, what do you think? I don't know why I need to view another subscription service. I mean, there's Sling TV. We already got all the other stuff on our apps, whether it be T-Mobile TV or at and I don't, I don't need another one through YouTube. I mean, it's cool that they're branching out, but I don't think we really need – another tv subscription service because there's so much more out there what do they think they're going to get as a buy-in to convince people to come to this service okay that's a good question i don't know the answer to that but i'll tell you this so (laughs) (laughs) i'll tell you this so we we have streaming services like like netflix or hulu plus where you can stream like old things for the most part it's not it's not updated you can't watch the flash today on hulu plus you can't watch till the next day or two days later or a week later or whatever the, the the contract is with this, though, this is going to be, like, up-to-date streaming. So when The Flash or Arrow drops, you could watch it on YouTube right away. Yeah. And there, there's no service that does that yet. You could watch it on the CW for free after it launches, though. So well, I, mean, I, I, I get what you're saying, though. That's I was just p- picking an example. That was No, I mean, you make a good point, though. 
So what about what do you, got, you guys? Let's see. Uh, from what I can remember, I, I'm so far behind on Flash and Arrow. No, oh, I know. Catch I up. Know, I know. But I remember um, the the nights that those new episodes would premiere. I would go to my night job, come back, and you know after I take my shower, I was able to view that night's episode. So I mean, if it's not right away, it's a couple hours later, which you know obviously I can wait for since I have another job. Right. You, you ain't gonna be able to watch it day one anyway. On what service? Uh, was Hulu Plus, or uh, just Hulu now. Right, they changed it up. It, okay. It's still there, but actually, I think Arrow and Flash were taken off. They're now on Netflix, so that could be a whole other thing uh, altogether. Netflix normally doesn't get, you know, episodes the day of. Yeah, it never they, happens. They just do seasons. Fair enough. So, the question that I kind of had was, this is going to be another big blow to cable TV, but as you were talking about right now, when you talked about, you know, what you were saying with, um, you don't need another service... I don't think this is them trying to compete with cable TV. I think maybe it's them trying to compete with everybody else, like Netflix, Hulu Plus, and take a piece of their pie. Yeah, what I think is going to happen is they're going to have specific partnerships with whether it be ABC or Fox or anyone. They're going to have exclusive content, just like Netflix has exclusive content. Hulu has exclusive content. Uh, I I think they're really going to dive into that market because so many people catch up on network stuff on YouTube. You know, you have people like Jimmy Fallon and talk shows and news. They're all putting themselves on their own subscription channel on YouTube. So why don't they just stream a live service so that way you can do it all at one and now they just charge for it. Make some money off of it. So I think, what, two, maybe three episodes, maybe a little bit more, four episodes ago we talked about just Netflix and how many subscribers they had. They're hitting over the 10 million uh, subscriber mark. That is hard to believe more people have bought an Overwatch than are subscribed to Netflix. So the question that I would I would ask is how many people do you think subscribe for free obviously to to youtube well i mean subscribing to youtube since it is literally free well subscribing to a channel or subscribing to i guess the actual service no the actual service okay that's completely different um i'm gonna go people are gonna go more towards netflix and other than the other the previous apps because people know them already well they no, no exactly i don't mean like do. in the future i mean like right now like how many accounts do you think there are like active separate individual accounts on youtube right now tons millions more than netflix yeah Easy. yes by far exactly way more than netflix so let's say i don't think youtube gives those numbers but let's say like for instance uh pewdiepie i think he's got like, like five something million yeah five or six million by himself just for video gaming so let's just say i thought even, it was 50 i think it's five no it's more it's, it's yeah. 50. No, I thought he recently Ooh. hit the 50 million You're mark actually, last year. Yeah. You guys are right. It is like 40 or 50 million because no, he was going to he was going to cancel his account. Sorry. That's exactly No, no, correct. he did cancel an account. He, he canceled the, a, <laughs> his, his second account. account. Um, Smurf account. So if he has 40 to 50 million on his own, that means there must be 70, 80, 100 million. If even 15 or 18% of those people subscribe to YouTube TV, they immediately pass Netflix as the top streaming service. That's crazy wow. numbers. So I think I think that's what they're looking at. They're looking at even if it's a small percentage, that still puts them right in the ballpark with the best of the just, best. Just the day sheer one. numbers. Yeah, that's that's big. Okay. Um, okay. that price though, thirty five <laughs> bucks. How are you guys looking on oh that? My, um, let's see, thirty five a month or ten for Netflix. Ten for Hulu. Sorry, I think twelve. Twelve if you don't want commercials for Hulu. Yeah, I can't get down. Angelica, I see you over there shaking your head. What do you think? Yeah, so far I'm subscribed to Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Funimation, HBO Go, uh, Xbox Gold, Spotify, and Crunchyroll. So, no. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay, cool. So, that kind of brought up another question there is where where do you see yourself as far as the saturation point for subscription service? Because everyone's nickel and diamond. You got to stop somewhere. So, it looks like you get about about seven, right? Mm -hmm. Garrett, what about you? You got how many? Um... I'd say maybe four or five main ones uh, that I'm subscribed to, but I mean I watch videos on YouTube and Twitch all day, pretty much. So, like I hardly even need those. I, I definitely don't need another subscription service. Okay, Joshua, how many do you think you got? I think I just got uh, Xbox Live and uh, PlayStation Plus. I don't think I'm subscribed to any other. Type no of streaming network. services for like movies or nothing? Nope. Wow. No, he doesn't have Netflix. That's right. You're bumming my Netflix. I forgot about that. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't used it since, what, Jessica Jones. I still have to finish that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm right in that same ballpark with just a couple. I've got Netflix, I think, right now. I actually just counted my Hulu, Gamefly. Like, I only have three or four subscriptions. So, 
This wait, one. Wait, you just canceled Game Pass? No, I just canceled Hulu. Okay. <laughs> yeah. After that so talk I, last yeah, week. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I only have three or four. I think, you know, that's probably where most people are at, three or four. This is a lot of money. I don't know what they're thinking there to come in, you know, triple what Netflix is at. That's that's pretty ballsy, man. Yeah. I think I think they're going to have a lot more stuff than just like shows. I mean, if we're talking about networks being on it, we're talking cable TV. So if you look at Sling TV, for example, that happens to be on Xbox Live that a lot of people watch on there when they game, you can watch basketball, you can watch sports, you can watch music channels and you get a discounted rate. So it's what, like 25 bucks a month, if not less. That's that's a really good point, actually, that if you look at Netflix, Hulu Plus, Crunchyroll, they're all so specific, right? They target anime lovers, you know, TV binge watchers or whatever. There's very few for like people who want sports, people who watch the Olympics, people who watch reality TV shows or, you know, old school like TV, like Star Trek stuff and old Western spaghetti Westerns and stuff. If they have content from all of those companies available and you can just kind of watch whatever you want instead of going very specific and yeah. go broad, they could have something there. Well, I mean, do you think this stuff's going to be on demand? What do you or mean? Do you think it's going to be like, okay, so it, Fox, CBS, ABC, are we only going to be able to watch what's currently on that station right now? Or is it a on demand kind of thing? Like, oh, I missed yesterday's episode of, you know, oh, of, uh, Con no, not that Constantine's. <laughs> Fox, I see, like, I see hoping, your point, right? though. Pipe dream. I think it has to be on demand. It's got to stay within like the YouTube kind of system, right? Choices, Where yeah. you have a list of things on a channel and you can choose what you have if they go broad. If they go like it's a broadcast and it's just TV, so why would I subscribe to TV? Except maybe the commercials get X'd out, but other than that, so okay. Um, who does this hurt? Last last thing I've got. Who does this hurt the most? Does it hurt cable TV, Netflix, theoretically? Because this could just bomb at the price. I honestly don't think this is going to hurt Netflix, Hulu in any way. Really, I think I think they're doing perfectly fine. Just the name brand on its own is is going to do wonders, you know. Netflix and chill. No one says YouTube and view. You know. <laughs> All right. What do you think, Angelica? Um. Yeah, this is gonna hurt YouTube for sure. Like, it's gonna I, hurt YouTube. Yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay. I don't see this being picked up. Okay. Okay. If this goes live, I think this is only gonna hurt uh, certain companies such as AT and T that are trying to make people buy into their cable service in addition to their internet, their home phone. Like, this is gonna cut out that portion uh, and just. You know, people that don't have to go through these other services, they can just do it whenever they want. I think I think it can go either way, but I think that if YouTube does it correctly and they make a lot of smart decisions, so I, I hope they would, it can it can really do well. So I, I think of like for instance with podcasts or with uh, streamers, if you subscribe to their channel and pay money, sometimes you get access to like extra episodes or things that you can't get into if you just view for free. If they have something like that, where hey, if you're a YouTube TV subscriber. You can have access to extra videos or extra content, or I have two, you know, PewDiePie, I don't know what he does as far as like how many videos, but I have two videos per week or day or whatever. If you are a YouTube TV subscriber that you can't access otherwise. So if they make it something integral to their service already, then maybe it could do well, but the price is too high. No matter what, the price is way too high. Didn't PewDiePie get canceled though? Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay, I'm not up to date with that guy. Yeah. Did, did he get canceled? Yeah. Oh, yeah. YouTube him? canceled him. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, not his own channel, but yeah. his YouTube Red. Okay, so, yeah. okay, I see what you're yeah. saying. Interesting. Yeah, that's gone. Yeah, that's okay, cool. well, hypo hypothetically, but dang, poor guy. <laughs> poor guy. Yeah, he's not poor at all. Uh, okay, no. yeah, he's ri rich guy. Yeah. Rich guy. Yeah, and he poor made some, rich guy. Yeah, amazingly <laughs> filthy rich. Yeah, and he made some some poor choices in the end there. So I don't think he really did. But no, no, but I don't want to talk about him. Like, okay, we'll we'll steer we'll steer a, clear of that train wreck. Uh, so the early success of the Nintendo Switch, is it hype or is it hope for Nintendo? So Nintendo of America president uh, Reggie fils released a statement in an interview earlier this week that stated... That his body's ready. <laughs> <laughs> everyone loves this guy. I really don't like him that much. It's, what? He's okay, but everyone like thinks he's like this crazy... Reggie is. He's all right. You, you all right, Reg. Uh, anyway, uh, the Switch announced uh, that its first two days of its console sales were the biggest for any system in the company's history, and next to that would then come the Wii. So for perspective's sake, the Nintendo Wii uh, in this first week had uh, 600,000 units sold. Uh, the Nintendo Wii U in its first week had 400,000 units sold. Xbox One on its first day had a million, as did the PS4. So looking at it like that, what does this really mean as far as what this statement says like is it just hype is it hope is it just talking out the side of their neck or what, what does it mean 
I mean, for for Nintendo, this is great news. This this is good for them. But that's on, that's that's like a personal accomplishment. You know, that's a, a milestone, a goal. But and I guess the when you take a look back, take a step back and see everything else that's been done, but with all these other uh, products and and systems, it's a small drop in the pond. Okay. So Nintendo is over the last several years has branched away from the competitive market. They're not trying to compete directly with Microsoft or Sony. All right, all right, hold on. I want to stop you there because we talked about this before. They have to compete with Microsoft and Sony. Not not from the perspective of maybe where their ideology for games is, but they are a a a traded company They're, with shareholders. They are competing with Microsoft and Sony. They have to. But they're not trying to compete on the same level as far as we're trying to make this graphically enhanced system. We're like we're doing it our own way, and we're gonna we're gonna be successful the way we want to do it, not by how everyone else is trying to do it. Okay, I, I can agree that they're going a different avenue where they're not trying to make the most powerful console, but their goal is still to sell units. Of course, but it's not like we're going directly against Microsoft's like Halo launch. Like, no, we're gonna sell this game with this system, and hopefully, you like it. And that's what they did. So, okay. I think when you look at the Wii U and how it launched, it wasn't a good launch. The 3DS was not a good launch. So, I think the launch for this, uh, system wise, it was great. Games wise, it sucked. Like, we have four games and a few digital one. games. No, no, there's one game. There's one game that matters. And a bunch of mini Which games. is awesome, by the way. But th we were talking about this before. Will this one game sell this console? And it has. They said that Zelda is the biggest standalone launch title that they've ever had as far as units sold. So when you look at the depth of this game and me, you know, getting about 15 hours, 20 hours in now, it is everything that I think we want in a Zelda game that we didn't think we could okay, have or want. Coming, coming back around to the Switch, though, and its sales for this first week, does it matter? Does this matter at it all? It does matter. Okay. It does matter because... It was somewhat readily available for the first day or so outside of pre-orders, very minimal, but it stands that people are still wanting this console, and I think the the hype is still there, but there's still hope for, you know, they're projecting to sell, what did they say, 5 million this year? They wanted, they wanted to sell million. 2 million in the first year. No, but they've upped it now. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they want to project to, to ship out another, like, 4 or 5 million. Okay, you want you want me to go first, or you want to go? I'll go. Okay, um, just really quick. Um, it's not really so much touching as to what they're selling. I'm just wondering, you know, for those people that did buy it, what are you going to be doing three six months from now? <laughs> the new <laughs> Mario doesn't come out till December, right? So what are you doing? Still playing Zelda. Mm. Good luck. <laughs> okay. No, Star Fox is now. There's no good luck. Oh uh, no, there's really not. You if, know what? If they launch a virtual console, then that's what yeah. you'll be doing. So this means. This, in my opinion, means nothing. So just because this console in its first week sold, they didn't even announce the number. They just said better than the Wii. Let's say, let's say it sold a million in its first week. Let's just, let's just highball it. That doesn't mean much for for its potential in the future. Just much, much like Angelica just said, they have no, they have no games, and they don't even have games on the horizon other than their their own what Super Mario game. That's it. There's no other big title you can talk about right now besides one more title. Well, you got Mario Kart coming out next month. You have Splatoon 2 coming out a month and a half after that. So that those are games that might not be like new, new games, but they're enough to tie people over. I don't know. I I, I can't see it. That's too few games. In my, in my I, opinion. I agree it's too few, but it'll be enough for people that have the system to play. And then if you look again at, at their numbers, if the Wii sold 600,000 and the Wii sold 400,000 rel relatively close, and the difference in as far as where the Wii was in sales at the end of its cycle and where the Wii U is now, those that first week means nothing. Oh, because after that, the Wii U was terrible and the Wii went on to do massive success. This first week is just people buying it. Secondly, second point is they can we all know with with amiibo, with like collector's editions, Nintendo purposefully holds back units and they make it so there's like a high demand, low supply. False demand. Yeah, exactly. Very false demand, thank you. I feel like this is what that is. They, you pre-order them out and you go, oh, we sold a bunch of them, but now you can't get one, so it makes people feel they have to go buy it immediately. But in a year, that's not going to matter. So I, I mean, would you argue that that, in my opinion, that's kind of a crappy technique or, or style of selling it, but does it work? Absolutely. Mm. It, I don't know. It's, it's worked for... It's, <laughs> it worked for Amiibo, that's for dang sure. It worked for the NES Classic. Is it working for this? We won't know. We'll see when E3 rolls around. Okay. Three months. 
it works temporarily because where are Amiibo at now? Yeah, now because they don't have any more Amiibo coming out. No, even even at the end of its cycle with with the last few Smash Brothers characters, they were just on shelves. No. What was what was the last big Smash character that came out that was not in high demand? Let me see. Gosh, can't even remember all these guys now. Ike, Ness. No, no, those, no, they, no, those were all sold out. Saying, yeah, they were. Uh, I mean, almost every amiibo is out. But no, every one is besides the DLC characters yeah, are out. I'm still waiting on them. I don't. I don't think. I think it, it's. The, dead. I think the last one was the giant yarn Yoshi, and that was still like sold out everywhere. People were waiting in line at the, Toys R Us for Legend that. The Legends other ones, the Ocarina of Time, uh, the Wind Waker ones. Yeah, I don't. I don't really count those because they aren't like the Smash amiibos. Oh, I didn't know we were like they Smash. they were sold out. I mean, Yoshi, but... Yarn, Yoshi isn't really Smash. Yeah, but true. But that that also. So like... you can use yours, but I can't use. Okay, oh, I get <laughs> it. I get it. <laughs> Sorry. You got me. You got me. <laughs> All right. So, is the two million or now five million units in one year doable? Yes. Angelica, what do you think? Five million. Five million in one year is that doable for Nintendo to sell these Switch consoles? Absolutely not. Yeah, I agree. Stab. I agree. Ooh. You you seem like you feel like it is right, Joshua. It's, it's doable, but they have to have the software to to back yeah. it up. But do they? Is the problem? No. We'll, so we'll did, to answer later. your question, is it doable? Yes. Is there a crutch of Damn, of course there is. A I'm, I'm very happy to see I have another fellow person of logic on the show today. <laughs> this is not happening, guys. They don't have any games. There's no games. I'm not arguing they do. There's two games I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to that's Zelda and Mario. What about after that? <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> New Metroid game? You hope cross all your fingers I and toes. Sh- I sure so am. what if they add, what if they announce that Smash is getting a port and it comes out this year? Or Pokemon Stars comes I don't think, out this year. I don't year. think ports are enough. I don't want you to remake the same game. I want new games. You told me that you would buy a Switch if they ported Smash. No, no, no. I said that I would buy a Switch if they make a new Smash Brothers. No, that's not what you said. No. You said if they All brought right, well, Smash if, to the Switch, you me, would buy it. Well, I apologize. I miscommunicated. Let me rephrase <laughs> okay. this. I will not buy one for a port. The, okay, the only way I'll buy it if it's a port if they add more characters that are not going to come for the Wii U. Not, not even for the Virtual Console Melee? No. Okay. I have Melee right now in my room. I could just play it. I don't need to buy a new console to play old games. Okay. Fair so, enough. So, no. You make, a new, you make a new Smash Brothers or you make this ported one and you give me four more characters, then I'm down. But other than that, no. So, yeah. All right. Cool. What I heard was yes. No. There, <laughs> there was no, no yes there. All right. First gaming segment of the podcast, fan favorites. We pick 10 rapid fire questions and each host answers to see where we stand opposed and where we stand united in fandom. Play along and find out what are your fan favorites. All right, Garrett, this is your week. This is my week. I actually had a special request on the theme. Okay. I regret everything. <laughs> We're doing a, uh, another Flashpoint episode or another Flashpoint fan section. Faves. Okay. Fan faves. So yeah. retcon. But this one's different. It's not going to be companies. Not this time. This time, you're straight up erasing celebrities. Wow. From existence. <laughs> oh, dang. I'm actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So you went back in time and you, you Marty McFly is his mom or something and he's disappearing. Well, other people are disappearing. Anyway, yes. we're, getting, we're getting rid of Lorraine. No. Sleeping with my mom does not seem like a good idea. No, thank you. Well, you back to the future, you start disappearing. Because he almost slept with his mom. He sure did. Calvin Klein. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joshua, you are up first. Sweet. All right, are you ready to erase celebrities from existence? Cue the music. <laughs> Will Smith or Kevin Hart? Ah, Kevin Hart's going by the way. The Rock or Terry Crews? The Rock. Adam Sandler or Ben Stiller? <laughs> Adam Sandler. George Clooney or Val Kilmer? Ah, uh, you gotta buy Kilmer. Kirsten Dunst or Emma Stone? Oh, Kirsten Dunst is going to bye-bye. Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> oh, Arnold. <laughs> Jackie Chan or Chris Tucker? No, Chris Tucker is going to bye-bye. Bruce Willis or Samuel Jackson? Bye, Bruce. Sorry. Jack Black or Jim Carrey? Bye, Jack Black. And finally, Harrison Ford or Mark Hamill? You guys are going to kill me. I'm going to say bye Bye bye, Harrison Ford. Oh, that was that was <clears throat> okay. Well, bye Harrison and Ford. That's that. No more indie. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Let's hear it. I got a lot of stares in that last one, so let's let's see where you guys come in. Johnny, number one, Will Smith or Kevin Hart? Kevin Hart. The Rock or Terry Crews? Terry Crews. Adam Sandler or Ben Stiller? Ben Stiller. George Clooney or Val Kilmer? Val Kilmer. 
Kirsten Dunst or Emma Stone? Kirsten Dunst. Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sly Stallone? Sylvester Stallone. Jackie Chan or Chris Tucker? Chris Tucker. Bruce Willis or Samuel L. Jackson? Bruce Willis. Jack Black or Jim Carrey? Jack Black. Harrison Ford or Mark Hamill? Harrison Ford. Oh, it's a tough one. That is the meanest one, Garrett. <laughs> that is mean. Oh, I know. We're going to talk about it. Can't wait. Can't wait. All right, Angelica, are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going anyway. All right. Will Smith or Kevin Hart? Uh, the one I'm saying, the one I choose to get rid of, right? Right, yes. the one you want to kill. Kevin Hart. The Rock or Terry Crews? Terry Crews. Adam Sandler or Ben Stiller? Adam Sandler. George Clooney or Val Kilmer? George Clooney. <laughs> what? Kirsten Dunst or Emma Stone? Kier- oh, no, 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 no. Emma Swan. Mm-hmm. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sly Sylvester Stallone? Sylvester Stallone. Jackie Chan or Chris Tucker? Chris Tucker. Bruce Willis or Samuel L. Jackson? Samuel L. Jackson. Jack Black or Jim Carrey? Jack Black. Harrison Ford or Mark Hamill? Bye-bye, Harrison. <laughs> okay. That was good. Good. He got ran over by the boulder. Well, he wouldn't even have been there if he doesn't exist. That's true, but never mind. Okay. So, are you ready, Garrett? Yes. You don't sound very confident. Because I know that you're not going to like one of my answers. I just want to say, before we get started, if for some reason you pick Emma Swan, we are breaking up. Okay? Okay. All right. So, Will Smith or Kevin Hart? Bye-bye, Kevin. The Rock or Terry Crews? No. Doomfist got to go. Terry Crews. Oh. Um, Adam Sandler or Ben Stiller? Ben Stiller. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes. I can't. Anyway, moving on. Uh, George Clooney or Val Kilmer? Batman's gotta go. Later, Val. You are dead. To me. <laughs> um, Kiki Dunst or Emma Swan? Um, I, on my own choice, choose Emma Stone to go and be erased <laughs> from existence. Okay. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sly Stallone? Sly's gotta go. Jackie Chan or Chris Tucker? Sorry, Smokey. Later, Chris Tucker. Oh, okay. Um, Bruce Willis or Samuel L. Jackson? Oh, Bruce Willis. All right. Um, Jack Black or Jim Carrey? Jack Black. Harrison Ford or Mark Hamill? Sorry, Indy. Bye, Harrison. Okay, that was actually a really hard one there. Harder than you first thought, huh? A little bit. All right, go ahead and from the top, sir. Break all it down. Right. All right, first we have Will Smith or Kevin Hart. I mean, we all unanimously pick Kevin yes, Hart. Yeah, Fresh he, Prince is here to stay, yes, damn you it. you can't get rid of the Fresh Prince <laughs> of Bel Air. I don't usually leave out everything else. Fresh Prince, hands down, <laughs> has to stay. <laughs> Nothing else matters. I don't care about Ride Along and, well, I mean, he's still funny, but sorry, not yeah, funny yeah, enough Yeah, he's still stay. funny. Not funny yeah, enough to stay for Will nah, Smith. He still gets erased. Yeah, you can't all get rid of the Fresh right, Prince. We're, we're all pretty even there. Yeah, there's no, there's no argument. Next. And if you if you think so if you think we're wrong, <laughs> email us. Yeah. And tell us. You why. better have a darn good reason too. <laughs> Next up, Dwayne the Rock Johnson or Terry Crews. Obviously Terry Crews, right? Like he's Dude, the... that guy's in a toes. Like I saw a movie and I'm not into that. So like <laughs> freaks me out. He's and got I'm something done. going on. You've oh, never seen White I, Chicks? I, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Dang Gary, you missed a reference. <laughs> 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 No, but I mean, come on, The Rock. Is he, do you smell what he's cooking? Because I do. W- what is he cooking? Jabronis. You didn't even say the smell. La, la, well, no, la, 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 la. I'm not. No, no, I'll embarrass myself. <laughs> he's the most electrifying man in all of entertainment. Yeah, he's and he's just. I mean, Terry Crews is a big, strong dude, yeah, but The yeah. Rock is just—he's a rock. If they got in a fight, my money's on the Brahma Bull. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, good. Are we unanimous there? Did, no. Oh wow. yeah, that's right. You picked the rock. To I'm just, go. I'm hiding behind a rock over here. I not, I, not behind the rock. A rock. Yeah. Uh, no. no, I I never cared for wrestling as a kid. Nothing against him. I didn't find him like funny or hilarious or anything. So I, I like some of the stuff he's done in movies. He had a great role in Moana, but like Terry Crews is just weird, and he's got this. He's always buff and his man. T- I don't know. Power. Uh, yeah, you, my brother loves those Old Spice commercials. My brother cannot get enough of Terry Crews in those. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rock's gotta go. Oh, man. Shame on you. You can no. find someone else to do the fast movies. <laughs> I don't like The Rock either, but I mean, if it's The Rock or Terry Crews, Terry Crews has gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. All, cool. right. All right. I'm not against that. Next up, Adam Sandler or Ben Stiller? 
All right, I, I liked, wasted no time on this, Johnny. You know I yeah, wasted no time. You really on do this. hate Ben Stiller. Why? Why did you I hate, hate him? his face? I hate his voice. He's not funny. He's not funny. You're funny, Ben. I think you're funny. <laughs> what did you guys pick? I said bye bye Sandler. Wow. Same. Okay. So both. Okay. We're, actually, we're, not. we're two and two. Yeah, well, no, no, I picked I picked uh, Ben Stiller to die. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're two and two. Yeah, me and you picked Ben. Bye. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I got that all mixed up. I like okay, I Adam. like Ben Stiller, but Adam Sandler's got Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, Waterboy, no? No. Eight Crazy Nights. Okay, why did you pick uh Why did you pick Adam to die? I hate Adam Sandler. <laughs> hate. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hate such a strong. Do you word. hate him too? I don't hate him, but if I had to watch half of the other movies that he's made, like Little Nicky or like. Come on. But that's some high quality H two O. Would you rather watch Big Daddy or Dodgeball? Dodgeball for sure. You yeah. picked a terrible Adam Sandler movie for it to go up against Dodgeball. I like Big Daddy. Like Adam Sandler has some good movies. Like Grown Ups was hilarious. Dodgeball is like one, one of my favorite yeah. like movies. So I mean, it's fifty fifty, right? You got you win some, you lose some. <laughs> the Sandler's got to go. All right, George Clooney or Val Kilmer. All right. So, Angela, I saw you weren't too happy with our choice to no, kill Val she, Kilmer. Yeah, she how dare stay. you? It's like, why you gotta kill Batman? Well, either way, you're gonna get rid of Batman. Why? Yeah. Wait, why did you want to keep him? Was it for Batman? No, no, no. I I hate George Clooney. Like I oh, hate ooh. George Clooney. So, okay, that makes sense. Though. Now I see why you guys are in a relationship. You hate Ben Stiller. She, you guys just hate yeah, celebrities. Yeah, we just hate feed <laughs> off of each other. No wonder this came up as a fan favorite. Wait, so why? <laughs> any, any, it's more like a hate favorite. <laughs> Any reason Man, hate. <laughs> <laughs> Any reason you hate him? He was the worst Batman ever. He really was. You hate, you he hate was. him because of Batman? Yeah, I hate him because of Batman, because of ER and his face. Was I mean, everything. Batman credit card? He never leaves home without it. <sighs> Is that his fault, though? Like, I don't know if that's, that's his fault, his. but I see your point. No. It's the bad nips. I mean, he just he just has so many other good movies. You get the whole Ocean series. I love the Ocean's Eleven. No. I just feel George Clooney makes a better Bruce Wayne than Val Kilmer did. Oh, we just he, broke up again. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, he, he, no. He looks the part more. Uh, Val Kilmer. Kilmer has had a like his. How do I see this? Um, he's had a way better career than George Clooney, in my opinion. Um, The Sultan Sea is one of my favorite movies yeah. of all time. The box office might disagree. Yeah, I, the only the only thing that I had for Val Kilmer that almost saved him was Top Gun. Of course. Yeah, Top yeah. Gun's that's awesome. I didn't know he was in Top Gun. Ah, uh, sad. Is he Goose? All right, move Someone? on. Move on. Move on. Yeah. Just just go. go. Go watch the movie, Garrett. <laughs> Kirsten Dunst or Emma Stone? I mean, I don't really like Emma Stone that much in comparison to Kirsten Dunst for the for the whole um Spider-Man thing. Like I don't think that she was like better in those movies, but La La Land Excellent. You are fired. No. Fired. <laughs> I just fired you from this podcast. Like this is that, my podcast is that, is that now. Is possible? So yeah. the, the funny thing is that... See you on Hooked on Comics, Johnny. I guess I'm just a one <laughs> podcast guy now. Angelica and I saw La La Land. Kaka Land. Her, her oh. request. It was your idea. It was a mistake. And I enjoyed the movie quite a lot. Yes. I hated it. It was awful. Yeah. How dare you? How is a white guy going to be saving jazz? Like, I mean, come on, seriously. You guys, no, 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 Okay, no. I can see that because I'm not a fan of, like, the whole, like, white savior of another culture's, like, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. To be fair, though, it wasn't necessarily him, like, saving Jazz. Like, Jazz is, I guess, dying and he's saving it. Jazz was already gone. Kind of, he, he more revitalized it. False. Well, he doesn't revitalize. He just opens his own nightclub. But she makes a good point because I think about the movie now. And you remember the part where – was it John Legend? It was John Legend. I was yeah, like, okay. So yeah. John Legend is the, the guy that's ruining you know, jazz. Yeah, and all, yeah. all the people in the band alongside yeah, him are that black. That was air quotes around ruin. But yeah, like. ruining. Um, so why, why, why is everyone else in the, like, the not jazz band? Another air quote thing. You know what? I didn't even catch that. Yeah, why are they all black? So she makes a fair point. Oh, okay. All yeah. Right. And, mean, then, and then also – Almost every every time he's on stage, everyone around him is black. When he goes to watch jazz, they're all black. Why is that? That's a very strong point. So yeah. you're hired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got you got you. <laughs> I've not seen the movie, so I'll, I mean, I will I'll... always pick Gwen Stacy over Mary Jane, though. Except for when my girlfriend's right here, then I have to pick Kirsten Dunst over Emma Stone. 
How dare you? Yeah, and then also, like, <laughs> Gwen Stacy's not that important to the comics, dude. Like, not really. I'm Isn't sorry. your opinion? No, it's not my opinion. She's been dead, like, 20 Spider-Gwen? years. That happened two years ago. That's all I have to say. All right. What else we got? All right, we have... For the record, I picked Emma Stone. <laughs> you didn't say anything. So... You, you guys are really having to heat the battle. Lauren Fistbump. I saw that. Oh, that nigga <laughs> slap in the face. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone. Get through the chopper! You voted for him to live, right? Yes, I did. Can anyone vote for him to die? Like, who didn't pick... Who 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 didn't kill Sly? I think we all got rid of Sly. Right. Mm-hmm. You can't the Terminator, dude. Like that's I mean, that's I it. Mean, Rocky was like yeah. Ooh, Not to say that Sylvester Rambo. Stallone didn't, didn't have iconic roles either. Yeah, Rambo, Rocky, Judge Dredd. But uh come on. Arnold. I'm law. Yeah. I'm above the law. I I mean just it was it was only Terminator. That's all I thought was Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I can't remove him. Predator? Predator, you got to I don't like Predator. I know you're a big JG, you're a big fan of Predator. I, I like, like it, not I like, as much. Yeah, it First one's good. Second one's eh. Yeah, the second one. It didn't even star Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I'm just talking about the movie in general. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and then also, he's one of our proud governors of California. We can't get rid of one of our governors. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even say that with a straight I face after you got a cold stare from a jealous. Yeah, she didn't like hearing so, that. You, you know, he's he's now his, he's going. now hosting the new uh, Apprentice. It's over. Oh, it's already over. Yeah, it's over. Wait, wait, what was he hosting? What? what? The, the Apprentice. Yeah. Oh, the Apprentice. He took over for uh, our president. Okay, interesting. That guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know how that other guy said you're fired. You're fired. Get no one said no one answered. Guess what Arnie said when someone had to go. You're terminated. Booyah. Yes, I got it in one. <laughs> oh, that's but, bad. Well, yeah, that's already over. Is, is the season over? Yeah, and it's over. like it's on hiatus for season two, no. or the show just he got won't be canceled. coming back. Ooh. Good. Okay. Good. <laughs> it's all a stunt. Moving on. You know, just real quick. Okay. I I feel like he's trying to hold on to something. Like, let it go, man. Like he's doing those mobile strike commercials all the time. Yeah. Your fame he is probably, gone. I, he I probably gets money for that. He probably gets a nice royalty check for I that. I, I get what you're saying, but he's still like an iconic person. He's still an iconic celebrity. And that kind of person, I don't think should let go. I, I think go ahead and hold on to it. Sure, you're not, you're not doing new stuff, but you're still, you know, you're you're still meeting fans and talking about, you know, both of them are talking about things that you did and things they liked about you and reliving memories and stuff like that. Yeah. Go, okay. Go watch, I don't think that's a bad thing. No. Okay. It's okay if you're doing it for like cool reasons, but all right, like William Shatner, he does those like insurance commercials. You're William Shatner. Why are you doing are you insurance commercials? About, um, um, no, the hotels.com. That's yeah. what it is. Hotels. Don't yeah. do that. Like, you are up here. Don't lower yourself down here. Yeah, I, yeah, I see what you're saying. Here there. was high, another here was low. What Just, uh, else does he have, though? Well, you're right. He doesn't have anything new, but if that's what I mean. Like, your legacy's way up here. Don't. Don't go, I need more money. Like, you have enough money. You got royalty checks coming in. I just feel it's lowering Don't his legacy. Don't have the last thing you do be what people remember from you know what you you what you were known for i, I suppose is my best way to summarize yeah. that you're right well you angelica what does he have now nothing like he's not getting movie roles but no well, i mean they did talk to him about uh making a cameo in the, in the new star trek films no they didn't i thought they did no he, they didn't he decided that he wanted no. a lot more money or something like that no. I, yeah i think she's right i don't think it ever happened wow it look, didn't. i'm glad she's here to fact check yeah so here's the thing all right, let's say there's someone that's 10 or 12 years old right now, and you go, William Shatner, and they go, who's that? And you go, oh, he was this, is this, and you show them a picture. They're going to go, oh, the guy from those commercials. Yeah, you're right. Don't don't let that be how people remember you, man. Yeah, like, you're right. So that's bad. Just just this generation. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, there was Conan. Like, you, you, can, Ooh, Conan. you cannot get rid of Conan. Okay, Thank fair you. point. Fair point. Thank you for bringing All right, that up. Go ahead, Gary. All right, next up, Jackie Chan, Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker... Can do all the stuff Jackie Chan does in every other movie that he did. Jumping through ladders, jumping off buildings. and Yeah. I thought you were going to say Jackie Chan or Jet Li. And then you gave me a nice cop out. So, so. I, I meant to go Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. But considering that Bruce Lee's dead. I mean, I would have clearly... Bruce Jackie Lee. Chan would have died yep. horribly. Yep, yep, yeah. Well, I, I didn't want to pick anyone for us to get rid of that's already no longer with us. Okay. So you'll, you'll kill, uh, you'll murder other people though. Yeah, yeah. I'll murder alive people. But not dead people. Yeah, Chris Tucker, you're doing too much tax evasion going to prison, man. Like, you, you can't have you dodging taxes, bro. And so. sometimes I don't understand the words coming out of his mouth. <laughs> Kafil to fish. <laughs> All right. God bless you. <laughs> uh, Bruce Willis or Samuel Jackson? You can't get rid of Samuel L. Jackson. Yes, this was hard for me. Yes, you can. Wow. Enlighten, enlighten me how. 
She's he not is a horrible actor. He has no range as an actor. He plays the same person in every freaking movie he's ever been in. He plays himself, and I am tired of it. I do not want to see any more films he's in. I'm done. Bye bye. We Dang. just watched Kong. Do you do you not like Denzel Washington then? Because he's like no. the same. He's like the same in every movie. Denzel Washington, like he's at least good looking. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, Fair she did say she's tired of that character. So even though Denzel Washington also plays the same character, that character is different from Samuel L. Jackson. So yeah, he just screams in all of his roles. Yeah, to, the shark ate him. I'd scream too. Yeah, um, that's so long ago. For the record, I, I of course, you know, I murdered, uh, murdered Bruce, Bruce Willis. Willis. He's Die good. Hard, man. Yeah, he's good. But I like Samuel L. Sad has so hard. many more like other roles. They're not like lead roles unless you count Nick yeah. Fury, but. So, Even little lead, little known fact, role. Samuel L. Jackson at this point, um, he is number two in history for like the biggest amount of money brought in into the box office mm-hmm. based on his movie. I'm going to say Movies. number one is Johnny Depp. Nope. Ooh. Ooh you get okay. one more shot. Didn't we talk one about this? Shot. I think you and I talked about it. I don't think Garrett was here. Um, one more shot. Who has uh, more? Tom Cruise. Nope. That's a good one on the list. Uh, this guy hasn't made that many movies. He's He's got a couple of big series and that's it. He only he only surpassed Samuel L. because of a movie that released in the last couple of years. Gee, Christian Bell? Nope. No. Harrison Ford. Oh. Harrison Ford's made more money at the box office than anybody because of all the Star Wars movies like he's I been in. Known that. And then Indiana Jones. So just with those two duh, movies. Duh. Matter of fact, so Harrison Ford only has like one third of the amount of movies made that Samuel L. has. He has like <laughs> 86 <laughs> movies to compare like 32. So and you just make a... I mean, you have <laughs> Indiana of, Jones and you have Star Wars. It. I guess all you need <laughs> both are Lucasfilm right. and, yeah. and then that, that's it. Don't fix so. perfection. That's true. No, you can't. Nope. All right, what do we got? Uh, Jack Black or Jim Carrey. I never cared for Jack Black. No one let Jack Black live, did they? No. No. Right. I like Jack Black. He's, he's, I, I, I love Tenacious D. School of Rock I liked. I didn't see it. Okay, uh, so much like Angelica did not like Samuel L., although I disagree, I think it's the same reason, though, why I don't like Jack Black. He's a like, one-trick pony. Plays the same character? Yeah. yeah. I was very upset when he won, uh, I think, at the first video game awards. For Brutal for, Legends? For, he won <laughs> He won Best Voice Actor uh, for Brutal Legend over Mark Hamill's Joker. Yes, I remember. That's, that was bad. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Very bad. All he did was literally just talk. Yes. He yeah. just he played himself and right. talked. And they're like, oh, good job, Jack Black. Yeah. You but know, back then Mark it was... Hamill here is killing his throat. <laughs> doesn't get an award for it back then it was the spike uh yeah, tv yeah, yeah, award spike. so it was a little bit different but yeah. yes you're right i was very upset very skewed and well, I mean, then um no sorry go ahead you can't you can't get rid of like half of the movies that he did ace ventura liar liar the mask oh, liar. Oh, the, the mask, mask. Like, yes that's a good one classic and plus snl way back in, living, no, in color. living color sorry in yeah. living color yeah, back when he was James Carey. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know what's crazy is that's where Jennifer Lopez got her start as well. She yep, was she was a fly girl dancer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah crazy. crazy. A lot of stars from there. Jamie Foxx. Yep. But, yeah, Jim Carey, the Riddler. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I brought it up. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't have. <laughs> okay. Uh, and last but not least, Harrison Ford or Mark Hamill. Why you got to do me like that, you, though? I know. I'll, I'll, I couldn't make them all easy, I'll, guys. I'll keep my Joker. That was that was it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Harrison. I mean, Ford. Luke. Yeah, sure, but no, Joker. Yeah, that's exactly what it was for me as well. The- so that's funny that we just talked about the highest paid actor or highest paid. Uh, he's, box he's brought he's brought the most money into the box office in history. Harrison Ford, and we will erase him in a second. <laughs> for the Joker. Joker. <laughs> They'll find somebody else to find that role. Jalky, you said uh, you agree too, Harrison yeah, Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah S- for same sure. reason. Bye, Harry. Um, uh, Technically, yeah. I mean, I'm a I'm a huge fan of Harrison Ford for sure. But um, that's I, my girl, uh, Mark Hamill. I mean, like that's yeah. no question. Yeah, she knows what's up. And then you know what else? When I was thinking it through, Mark Hamill embraces what he's a fan. What 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 he's what has made him a celebrity. And Harrison Ford kind of looks down on people. Kind of spits on Han Solo. I don't like yeah. that. I don't like that. Yeah, it just doesn't ring very nice to me. So but all right, yeah. cool. Love you, Mark. So that's fan favorites for this week. Uh, if you have your own fan favorites or want to shout out uh, and let us know and sound off what you thought of fan favorites this week or your own choices, feel free to email us at supercoopsquad at gmail.com or uh, give us a, uh, a tweet on Twitter at supercoopsquad. So the Lego company's 
2016 financial results are here, and they have made Lego history. So Lego made $5.38 billion, that's with a B, uh, dollars throughout 2016. This is the largest reported amount for Lego company in the 85-year history that they have been around. Um, have they owned? No, 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 that can't be right. They've only been around 85 years? Only? That's a long time for a company, dude. Like, that That seems... I've, I was always, always in the impression that they were... They've been around for a while. 85 is not that long. You want to fact check that, JG? I'm pretty sure that's pretty accurate. I mean, think about how old Nintendo is. They're an old company. They haven't been around more than like 120 years. Nintendo is, isn't it like 1970? They are way older than that, dude. 1970 is only like 55 years. My, that's my point. Yeah, no, Nintendo is super old. Oh, super okay. old. Um, but yeah, so most popular brands for Lego that has made them this money last year, Lego City... Ninjago, Lego Friends, and of course, Star Wars. Um, it's been a big hit. Yeah, man. They've done pretty well for themselves. Not to so, mention, Le- Lego itself is is dipping into other IPs too. Lego Marvel, Lego DC. Yeah, they've got a pretty strong partnership with Warner Brothers. Uh, and that kind of brings us next point here. Uh, for those things that are popular that's making the most money, most of these big name brands are things that uh, they own as far as IP and not uh, contracted IP. So that, that speaks a lot of volume for their own franchises. You got some yeah. facts for us, JD? Yeah, I got a fact check. Unless Google is wrong, or Wiki, uh, it'll be 85 years on August 10th. They Ooh, originated right. in okay. 1932. How's that crow taste? It's, it's getting a little tender. <laughs> um, are you guys shocked at all about Lego and their success? Not at all. Le- Lego is a huge company. Every kid, every mom, dad knows what Legos are. They either played on them, ate them, or stepped on them. I'm not surprised that they're still doing so well. What I am surprised at that big number. Like you when you think of Lego, there's a lot of different properties that they have. But then you say, okay, they grossed over five billion dollars. Like what other company can say that they've done that in one fiscal year? Disney. Apple. Okay. So Microsoft. Okay. Uh, did Microsoft say that? I think but, so, yeah. But what what are what is Lego selling? Yeah, but I see your point. It's children's toys. toys. And they have some movies. Like, so that that's it. The, <laughs> they have properties that are based around a specific build a block it, toy. It's well, <laughs> well, I don't know because Angelica and I we recently been to Legoland, and they charge what ninety hundred dollars mm-hmm. for a day. God, at Legoland Man. to go to Legoland. Yeah, Disneyland is like twenty dollars more than that. But it's Disneyland. Yeah, exactly. I expect that from Disney. Wow, yeah, well, that, that's my point. Like, Legoland is nothing compared to Disney, but you're going to yeah, charge 85, 90% of Disneyland? Yeah. It's kind of, it, okay, so the way I see it is. Oh, they do they, also have a lifetime pass. A lifetime really? pass? Yes. How much does that cost? Wait, wait, wait. Do you remember? It's, a, it's, it's a monthly like service. 300 right? something. For a yeah. lifetime pass? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I could be wrong. Okay. Buy three, um, get a lifetime yeah. free? <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing that I think is. They have no competition. What, Mega Bloks or Duplos? Like, they have no one in their market. <laughs> well, actually, isn't Duplos a part of Lego? You're think, right. It, it, it's is, the little kid. Mega Bloks is separate, but Duplos is part of Lego. <laughs> they have they have no competition. They, they monopoly. Yeah, they have they have a Lego they Monopoly. They own all three colors. Lego Monopoly would be a good Monopoly set to own. That would be good. Speaking yeah. of, like, Monopoly Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, there's wow. our Dragon Ball reference. See ya. <laughs> yeah, oh, here we go again. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think this is cool for them. I'd like to see some different kind of games. I'm sick of playing, you know, the same Lego friends Lego game. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I actually really used to like the Lego games up until I think it was Marvel Avengers or Lego Avengers. It used to be either they wouldn't talk and it'd just be funny little cutscenes. Then they would go to original stories, but now they literally cut the audio from a movie, paste it in the cutscene, and it sounds terrible. I can't enjoy the game. Like, I used to really think those games were fun. Yeah, I, I can see how that could be kind of jarring. Yeah. So. Um, what's next? So, I mean, not not Legos, the toys, because I don't care. I don't think any of you care. But yeah, for... Legos are cool. No, no one cares. Do you care about Legos? No, I just want Lego Mario. Ooh. Ooh. Like a Nintendo-type crossover? Just Mario? Or yes. Or just, like, different franchises from Nintendo? No, just Mario. <laughs> <laughs> that could be... That could be something. Wow. I want to build Samus's ship out of Legos. That'd be cool. Or the Arwing. Or okay. the Great Fox. Okay, that's three. I just I just asked for one, Garrett. 
Okay, I like the Lego well, Mario. Yeah, yeah. Well, they that's, already have, that's winning so far. Yeah, I mean, they already have like mock up like new, like Zelda sets that they've done. Okay, well, like like games, like like game, like Lego Mario is a game. Good gosh, that would sell so many copies. Okay, yeah, I, I think yeah. I mean, it's a good idea. Yeah, play sets, but yeah, games. There's a brain over there. Good job. <laughs> well, I thought we were talking about play sets too. No, I said I don't care about the toys. Yeah, I was talking then, about like games or, or movies. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, I mean, they've already had two successful movies. When you have uh, the Lego movie and Lego Batman. So movies, they can branch out to other stuff. Okay. I think Lego Batman can like spread out. So what do you want to see then? If it's a movie or a game? Uh, I would like to see a new Lego franchise. Like I don't, I didn't play a lot of, mm. but looking at the research that we had done, Lego Ninjago was like huge when it comes to TV show, toys, and expanding. So it's getting a movie. Yeah. Didn't they already have a movie? They, they have like, like a straight a, they, to DVD. They type have movie? a straight to DVD TV movie, which is probably a compilation of like two episodes from a season or something like that. But they're having an actual Ninjago movie. Oh, okay, I want to see something yeah. like something new from them. Like Lego, like the Lego movie was like original. That that was great. Like something else like that, or maybe I don't know. Do a spin off. Like I don't know. Give me Lego Game of Thrones or something. Mm. That was a little rough there, man. I don't <laughs> know how it's gonna play out. <laughs> a lot of incest and death. So. <laughs> it's not gonna work. I mean, I could just imagine all the Lego pieces when they, all right, he's 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 died. Just the head the pops off, off, yeah, yeah, and put them back together. All How right, you gonna deal good. with you know the rampant incest? We we see where <laughs> that's, that's not where my do. mind was going, Johnny. But very similar to your King Kong stuff. Like you're you're. I'm sorry, you're honest. Just, like I thought of. By so, the way, since we're somewhat on the subject, Angelica and I saw Kong, and I'm sorry, Johnny. There's no Kong penis. I mean, I'm not happy. I'm not. I wasn't I'm happy sorry, to see I, one. We were looking to let you know. Wow, <laughs> I was not trying was to not find there. one. So you can just skip the movie, I guess. I saw it. I don't know what you were watching, <laughs> but I saw it. He All wasn't right. tucked. I stand, <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> Rude monkey. <laughs> I guess you have to see it for yourself, Johnny. I guess so. I'm not going to for for that. Um, all right. So Lego property or Lego next thing to do. Lego Halo. That's what I, I've said it for years. I would love them to make a Lego Halo game. That'd be super Doesn't fun. Mega Blocks already have Halo stuff. I'm not. I don't want Me- like no no get Mega Blocks. No, I it's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Well, I, I'm sorry. Well, my point was going to be because Mega Blocks already has that franchise. Will they jump ship to also do it with Lego? I I don't care. I just want a Lego Halo video game. I think that'd be super fun and like awesome. I don't know. That's just my thought. Mega blocks. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks cheaper. So Brilliant. gaming segment number two, gamer trivia each week. Uh, two, today three of our hosts go head to head in a best of five trivia contest. The winner will retain bragging rights and stay and play again uh, next week while the loser has to create next week's questions. Play along and see just how much gaming knowledge you have. Garrett, you were... uh. Sadly for you, happily for me, the the loser last week. I was dethroned. Yet yes, again. yes, you were. I'm going for the three peat this time. Well, yeah, two we'll, peat today. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. You got to get the two before you get the three. I'm, I'm going. And now you have an extra player that works against. Yeah, you, it so. does. It does work against me. Gentlemen, she's giving me. She's staring me down with like a smirk. I'm scared. Gentlemen, <laughs> I have uh, three questions to ask you. Well, you have to have five. Well, right now, before the trivia starts, I have three questions to ask. Do I get points for these questions? No. Uh, we'll waste my time. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? Bioshock. No, says the man in Washington. Bioshock. It belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican. It belongs to God. Andrew Ryan. No, says the man in Moscow. It belongs to everyone. Based off Ayn Rand. Lady and gentlemen... I bring you Rapture. I like this. That was one question in like five statements. I thought you were I'm, giving me three questions. I feel good. I, I normally don't feel good about the things you guys pick. Today I feel pretty good. I hope it's going to come back to bite me in the butt. But I played half of Bioshock 1 and that's it. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I, I didn't know anything about Kirby. And I'm sorry because you, you, you missed great game not sorry because you're at a disadvantage i don't care i don't care <laughs> that about doesn't that mean i'm at a disadvantage i've beaten you guys not knowing stuff that's fair point that's fair point all right let's do it let's see did i ever play or beat bioshock i'm so johnny, sorry johnny God. johnny did i ever beat bioshock no no you didn't a second game where you corrupted his file this is the same it? game he will never let go oh i thought you said sky I'll never let go no, it was bioshock oh, okay I'm so shame, sorry. shame 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 yeah. shame i really am sorry <laughs> i caught that titanic reference by the way Thank you. She's on. She's on point. Alrighty. 
We will start with question number one. Question number one. The main character receives a gift at the start of the game. For a quick moment, you can see his name. What is it? A. James B. Jack C. John or D. Bob Um, um, is this for Bioshock or Bioshock Infinite? I'm, I'm having a moment. Uh, sorry. This is Bioshock. Okay, can you repeat right the now, question? The main character receives a gift at the start of the game. For a quick moment, you can see his name. What is it? A. James B. Jack C. John or D. Bob Joshua, you answered A. James Johnny, you answered B. Jack Angelica, you answered B. Jack The correct answer is B. Jack so one for Angelica, one for Johnny, right now zero for Joshua. Yay. Okay. All right. Question number two. There is a banner right before the vehicle you take to Rapture. What does it say? A. No kings or gods, only man. B. No men or gods, only kings. C. No gods or kings, only man, or D, no kings or men, only gods. That's hard. Okay. All right. Johnny and Joshua, you have answered A, no kings or gods, only man. Angelica, you answered C, no gods or kings, only man. The correct answer is C. Mm. No gods or kings, only man. Oh man, okay. Angelica We're down. two, Johnny one, Joshua zero. Are we placing any bets? Because <laughs> I would like to place like everything. <laughs> That's the bonus question. That's where you place the bets. Okay. I just want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> question number three. What is the very first weapon you get in the game? A. A pipe. B. A wrench. C. A golf club. Or D. The plasmid electro boat. You have all answered B. A wrench. The correct answer is B. Three for Angelica, two for Johnny, one for Joshua. I'm on the board! <laughs> alright, alright. Next question, question number four. In what year does Bioshock take place? A. 1930 B. 1940 C. 1960 Or D. 1990 can you repeat the question, please? In what year does Bioshock take place? A. 1930 B. 1940 C. 1960 Or D. 1990 Johnny, you have answered A. 1930 Joshua, you have answered B. 1940 Angelica You've answered C, 1960. The correct answer is C, 1960. Wow. All right. She is kicking the crap out of you guys. The game is not over yet. This is true. Question number five. This one could be a doozy. How many little sisters are roaming Rapture? A. 17 B. 19 C. 21 or D. 22 Can you repeat the question, please? 
how many little sisters are roaming Rapture? A. 17 B. 19 C. 21 or D. 22 I don't feel good about this one. <laughs> this is question five. This is question five. Johnny and Angelica, you have answered A, 17 little sisters. Joshua, you have answered D, 22 little sisters. The correct answer is C, 21 mm. little sisters. Ah, uh, man. That is four for Angelica, two for Johnny, and one for Joshua. Okay. Now it's time for the bonus question. Do we really need a bonus question? I mean, come yes. on. Yes. It's pretty yeah. obvious. It, we it, need it, a bonus question. Uh, okay. It can be a game changer, <laughs> believe me. You ask for bets. Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you're getting your bets. So, so what do I get? The chance to right. win. Well, you, also, you also have yeah, the chance to win. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> this is what oh. we're about here. One up in each other. Would you kindly place your bets? All of you decided to go big or go home. <laughs> All right. The final question. The bonus question. There are two types of big daddies in Rapture. What are their names? Two types of big daddies. What are their names? Name of the type, not name of the big daddy. It can't be like their nickname? It cannot be their nickname. That is not their type. What if we get one? You get... Uh, half your point. Okay. I have. So we do get half points. Okay. All right. I have all the answers. Before you give the answers, you have to determine whether they get a half a point or not. Yeah. How's that going to work? I am the judge. It's up to me. Man chooses. A slave obeys. I will choose. You will get half of what you bet. What is the name of the two types? of Big Daddies and Rapture. Joshua, your answer was Big Daddy, Little Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid they don't love it when they call you Big Papa. <laughs> it's Big Daddy, not Big nah. Papa. Johnny, you have answered Rosie and Driller. Angelica, you have answered Rosie and Bouncers. She got it. The correct answer is Rosie and Bouncers. Very good. So, Angelica, you have four points. You bet four points. Damn. You have the highest score in our trivia at eight points. And the winner of Bioshock Trivia. Yay, me! Good job. Yeah, we don't need to good. go over our points and what we bet. No, I, I, I'm on the board still, sir. <laughs> we don't know that. No, I know that. I got one right. I got Rosie right. Johnny, but, you bet two points. Mm-hmm. You got one right, so. Wait, no, 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 no. I got no, one no, point. No, 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 no. What do you mean? No, 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 no. Wait, you bet one point? I bet two points. You bet, you bet two, points. two points. And then he I got how many back. points? I get half back. No, he he chose big daddies and little daddies. No, no that's him. I chose Rosie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh okay, chose... sorry. I was no, like, what are you talking what? about? <laughs> you got your eight point victory. Okay, I would just wanted to make sure. <laughs> All right, that is game trivia. I still feel good. I get to play again next week, so <laughs> there's that at least. <laughs> yeah, good job. Wow, you got some. Are you a big Bioshock fan? Then it is my favorite game of all time. Oh wow. Okay, mm -hmm. so does that mean the person with the lowest points has to? Yes, you. <laughs> but what if? What if? You are. What if I have more than one point? <laughs> but you have zero. <laughs> we don't know. Garrett didn't shout out my points. You, it's okay. You, you bet one point, Joshua. <laughs> you had one point. He he bet. Wait, he bet. He bet one, and he lost. He lost. So he has zero. Yes. Yeah. That's... Okay. There we go. Just, Just... want to make sure everybody knew. <laughs> hey, well, congratulations, Angelica. You came in. You you embarrassed us pretty pretty handily there. So good job. <laughs> she she's nodding yes. It had to be done, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we we got put on our butts there. All right, good job. Hey, listeners, have we told you how awesome you guys are? You guys do so much for our podcast that we cannot thank you enough. Anytime you email us, hit us up on Twitter, hit us up on Facebook, you really 
help enlighten us with all the feedback in the comments and it really relates how we put this effort and energy back into the show so we want you to continue to do that continue to let us know what you think how you feel and what we can do to make the show better one of the things that we really grasped on is the quality of how we deliver the show through our sound and that's something that we want to continue to do for you guys so let us know hit us up at supercoopsquad at gmail.com or you can also let us know what you think on twitter at Super Co-op Squad. Thanks very much. I lost in trivia. Let's let's. What's the next segment, Johnny? Oh man, you're still hurting off the trivia thing. All right. So next up, uh, Legendary Studios, the production company behind the latest Godzilla film and Kong Skull Island, are already underway writing the script for the upcoming 2020 Godzilla vs King Kong. Godzilla already happening so eight major film writers are reported to be working in a in conjunction to pin the script from franchises such as pirates of the caribbean the maze runner bates motel and stranger things to name a few are you guys even interested in seeing you know this this legendary head-to-head matchup come back all i have to say is if you're not watching bates motel you are missing out it is one of my favorite tv shows of all time and if their writers are working on this i'm there all right boom you're asking me if I want to see King Kong fight Godzilla, are you? Is that is that a real question? I I yes, so. I want to see them duke it out, or dukey it out. What duke <laughs> it out? Duke it out. I meant duke it out. <laughs> Joshua, what do you got, man? What'd like why? Why would you want to see an epic battle? I mean, we had Godzilla's uh, Godzilla versus monsters in all different types back then. So to have some type of recreation of that with King Kong is going to be awesome. What baffles me is we can get eight people to work on a King Kong versus Godzilla movie, but we can't get one person to do a damn DC movie. Like, I'm sorry, DC, we're never gonna let you go. We no, need to stop. like, come Here on. We go. I just wanted to put that in there. Uh uh-uh. uh. Here we go. No. Okay. So so where I come from, I am a strict DC only household. Do not talk about DC that way. Ooh, I just okay? said they can't find a director. That's what no. I'm listen. No 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 no. <laughs> I've heard you guys bash on. Batman versus Superman and Suicide Squad, and I am not happy about that. Mm. I don't know what you guys think you guys are doing, but I do enjoy those films. Okay? How dare you? (laughs) (laughs) There had to be one. What about Batman versus Superman did you enjoy? Everything. And especially my bae, Batfleck. So, stop. (laughs) See how she can have a bae backflip? But I can't look at you him. You don't get stone. no bays, dude. I can't even look at him. Your bay is sitting right next to you. That's all she you get. Sure is. No other bays. No waifus. No nothing. <laughs> no waifus. <laughs> no waifus. Get out of here. Um, you know I, what? I'm I'm pretty interested in this. I think if they do it right, it could be done well. The only problem I see, much like back with the original film, is these are two franchises that almost epitomize East versus West, United States versus Japan. So you've got to do it in a way that makes both characters, you know. It gives them it does it does justice by both. They you can't each get their spotlight. Right, because you can piss off a lot I of people. I can already tell you what's gonna happen. They're gonna fight and then there's gonna be a bigger threat, then they're gonna team up. I think you I didn't think about that, but you are probably right. Uh, I did want to point out that just at the end of Kong there is an in credits portion that has to do with the next movie in the series or okay. in the monster verse. So it seems like he might have disagreed there with the the team up thing? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Godzilla will win. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because he... he's got that weird, ah, uh, thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. King Kong got the pounding on the chest. King Kong is amazing, but Godzilla's got it, hands down. Yeah, I agree, Godzilla. I mean, fight, yeah, I put my young Godzilla. What, he shoots lightning out of his mouth? But... Wow, what the heck? He does not shoot lightning. Lightning? Really? No, he shoots, like, radioactive, like, fire sort of yeah it's not like flame but like radio black and white i can't tell all right well it's it's radioactive like fire there you go uh, they did have to adjust the size for kong and kong skull island to be fit to fight a, a godzilla okay. so he's, he's much more he's a much bigger kong than in that uh, jack black movie so i think i think it's gonna be good i think it's gonna be a good fight yeah uh, i think they're gonna team up to fight the bigger fight in the fight to end all and fights. Fight to end all fights, and then after that, Gypsy Danger shows up or something. I don't know. We got some Pacific, Pacific- Rim Godzilla. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Yeah, that would be actually. I think There's yeah, you're right. All over Hold the on, because Legendary is the company that that uh, produces Pacific Rim. I believe Pacific Rim might be part of this new MonsterVerse. Hmm. All right, I'm liking this all more about and more. The crossovers. Yeah, it's working. It is. 
So James Cameron announces that Avatar 2 will indeed miss its 2018 release date and be pushed into the next year. Reason for the delay? From James himself. Well, 2018 is not happening. We haven't announced a, a firm release date. What people have to understand is that this is a cadence of releases, so we're not making Avatar 2, we're making Avatar 2, 3, 4, and 5. <laughs> it's an epic undertaking. Oh, so instead of making the one next movie, they're going to make six other ones. What the heck, man? Do okay, any of no, you, I get it now. Do any of you think this is acceptable? It, I, I don't. It doesn't make sense. I, I think that this is terrible. It Okay, I, I could see if this were, you know... 2012 and the movie came out three years ago but this movie came out in 2009 it's now 2017 you've had enough time to make at least two out of the five movies like what is going on i mean they were scheduling the second movie to come out nine years later nine years for a second movie yeah and it's not like okay i could see if it were a thing right where the movie wasn't on anyone's radar, wasn't in production or like pre-production, and then they're like, "Hey, let's make this movie." Okay, now we're getting underway. We've known about this, and it's being in, in you know, pre-production for like six years. Come on, I, I agree wholeheartedly. I, you should have had another movie out by now. I mean, to to make five or six whatever movies and then release them like one every year and do like a Star Wars or a Harry Potter type of thing where. I don't know. I don't think it's going to catch. Yeah, I'm not happy. Uh, okay, the <laughs> problem I see here is that this is still in pre-production. You've been talking about this for like six years. You haven't done one one piece of shooting. Like, you keep talking about it, and you keep saying we're going to do it, but you haven't done it yet. Like, at what point do you pick up the freaking camera and get something going? Was there anyone in the cast of the first movie that was possibly near death, like old age, sickness? No. That's the only thing I can think of to kind of wait so long and make so many movies. Like, is Sigourney Weaver in danger? I Protect don't... Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> well, she Hyperbol dies in the first movie. Put her in a hyperbolic time chamber. Right. Oh, she that's did. the reverse. She did. That did happen. Well, there's rumors that Bring she'll come back. back. Yeah, she'll come yeah, back she, somehow. She merged yeah, her with consciousness Iwa. Somewhere, somewhere, something like that. Yeah. Iwa. Yeah, I don't I, remember the name. This is this is gonna be in and just Tafiti? It's gonna be in limbo. <laughs> it's gonna be in just pre production limbo, it's gonna get cancelled. That's what I think. Happens to the best of them. It does. Sorry, we're all canceling number five. <laughs> oh one, two, three, four gets get made. All right, so our last segment of the podcast, Speed Run. Each week, we'll break down 10 news stories and facts that just didn't quite make the list for a segment. We've got one minute per topic before we move on to the next one, finished or not. Gotta go fast in the speed run. Gotta go fast! So starting March 14th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Twitch will be streaming every episode of Power Rangers in sequential order in one 16-day mar marathon. That is, count this, 831 episodes in total, plus the original film. The movie, too? The movie, too. Nice. Go, go! So I'm actually really excited for this. This, this isn't their first time doing something like this. Uh, they broadcast all of the um, Bob Ross painting episodes, um, happy painting, or I forgot what it was called. No clue what that is. You know, okay, it's like, oh, we're gonna put a little tree right here, a happy little tree. Nope. You do? Okay. Remember the Boondocks it's, it's, episode it's the where meme. Riley learns how to, like, uh, oh, spray paint? Oh, that guy! Yeah, the meme. Okay. Yeah. I know now. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a Power Rangers one, that's awesome. Um, sure that's there's a Power Rangers on Netflix. It's a, lot. it's a lot of episodes, like, no one's gonna be able to watch all of that. You're not gonna be able to DVR all of that. Top three Power Rangers series. Go. I've only seen the original. Power, Power Rangers, Rangers, Power Rangers in Space, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. God, I will not touch Power Rangers in Space. That is like the best one. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wait, wait. No, no, never mind. Yeah, get out of here. I, Lost in Space or Lost in Galaxy and Rangers in Space. Lost. Once they left Earth, I didn't care. Next. Game of Thrones Season 7 has a release date. The next chapter starts on July 16th. The day after my birthday. Happy birthday to me. You mean happy birthday to Harry Potter? No, no. I was here first. <laughs> Much like Blake Griffin. <laughs> Joshua, I yep. was here before Mr. Potter. So, Angelica, I know you are a big Game of Thrones fan. You excited? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, I'm going to start off saying who I want to die. Ooh. I want uh, Littlefoot to die. I want Arya to die. And I want so Sa Sansa. Little finger? Or Littlefinger. Littlefoot's the dinosaur! <laughs> Whatever! Why, why do you want to kill Littlefoot? Listen, Littlefoot Littlefoot. had it coming. Okay? He's looking for the tree star! <laughs> he had it coming. Okay? He died. needs to be gone. Arya, Sansa, go. I just need more Grey Worm. 
I Aria. freaking hate Arya. She is so worthless. Grey Worm can barely speak or read. Grey Worm is hot. He is pretty cool though. Okay. But not not Arya. I love Arya. Arya sucks. Wow. Next. Uh, the court drama between Facebook and Zenimax and Bethesda continues as the man who started all the issues, John Cormack, countersues Zenimax, stating they are withholding over $20 million owed to him from their purchase of id software, or ID software. This is getting ridiculous. And this week's episode of All My Shit. Yeah! <laughs> so, he, uh, so, so he claims this after he lost the suit? Like, you wouldn't do this beforehand, or is it more under the table we don't know about. I, I've got no clue why he thinks that this is a good response to him being, you know, accused and then found guilty of stealing data and technology. So whenever I see the word counter followed by anything, I always think of clearance. So Zenimax, uh, you know, they, they're suing, or uh, uh, if it was Facebook suing. No, this is him personally. Oh, personally. Okay, so he sues, and then all of a sudden, counter sewer! <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> sewer breaker! No, whatever. He's just yeah. trying to get whatever. But if he loses, then he loses the money that he probably had to pay for the lawyers and all that. Like, We don't have time to talk about exactly what face our Zenimax response was, but if you have a chance, look at it, because they rip on this man pretty darn good. Next! Uh, Disney has officially greenlit a live-action Aladdin film and is holding open casting calls for Middle Eastern actors from 18 to 25 years of age, stating experience and singing ability and dancing are a plus. Gary, you should go cast because you claim to look like everybody or everybody looks like you. Uh, I just look like Starkiller and the guy from Infamous and Shepard. So are you, are you a fan of Angelica? I, actually this makes... is my favorite Disney movie of all time. However, Guy Ritchie is directing it, so I have no faith in this. Bye. 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 Okay, he, I like Guy Ritchie for some, some of his like British films. He did, he did Snatch, and then he did Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. We're talking about Aladdin here. Aladdin. Fair, fair point. Fair point. Uh -uh. I, don't, I, don't like, I don't like the fact that they're doing open casting calls. Not that it's a bad thing, but dang, man, that's so sad that they don't have just like, Middle Eastern actors. Yeah, yeah just it, it is, but I do want to point out that we're not getting a whitewashed Aladdin a la Scarlett Johansson and Ghost in the Shell. Right. We're, we're actually looking for someone who fits the profile of this character. Or characters. Or characters. Yeah, but just the fact that there's not like high profile Middle Eastern eth ethnic actors. Wow. Thanks! Ah! I had one more thing I wanted to say, so no. Uh-uh. That's how it goes. Next topic. Mm -hmm. it, <laughs> it's official. The Merc with the Mouth, Deadpool, will be getting the sequel treatment and will appear in some capacity in the upcoming X-Force film. No surprise. Yeah, I'm happy about this. Yeah. You know, little... Sip it, Stanley! Mm. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Johnny hasn't seen Logan yet. And I saw it. It's awesome. Did you, we, see, did you see the beginning teaser? Yeah. Well, not a fan of Logan was over there. Actually, different nah. uh, from the one that they released online. Stanley wasn't in the one before the, before uh, the show. I, I, I didn't get one that Stanley. Anyway, coming back to X Force. Okay. This is, well, I don't know how this is gonna work. This, you need Wolverine in X Force, and that's a problem to have him missing. But other everything else so far, Cable, Deadpool, Domino. Who, yes, 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 yes. Who said Wolverine's gonna be missing? He is not gonna be in X Force. Do we know if this takes place before or after Logan? It doesn't matter. Hugh Jackman's not coming back except for the Avengers. If that ever happens, which it won't. That's true. Okay. So, there. It's, that's... it's still Deadpool. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'm more excited for Domino and the Cable. I don't even know Domino's story. She has, like, the ability to, like, change luck. Next! Bye. <laughs> BioWare announced via Twitter that all multiplayer maps for Mass Effect Andromeda will be completely free to download. I'm just taking a page out no nah, man, no. Get out of here no? with your no. Get out of here with your mental, your I'm sorry, your gymnastic words and nonsense. They're saying the free multiplayer. They did not say free content. So anything for story, it seems like you're gonna have to pay for that. And I'm not happy that you won't just come out and say it. Uh, but they do want you to know the multiplayer aspect of it, specifically maps, not weapons, characters, powers, any of that stuff. Yeah, just, I don't like stuff. I don't like them playing little games with with their words, make it seem like it's one thing and it's another. Not cool. Like being what if, what yes. if they don't come out with story DLC? Come on, bro. It's well, bad. so in, in the most longevity of things, what comes out more often, multiplayer DLC or story driven campaign in most games? Game. It does, and 
I would prefer for it to be it for this game oh, campaign. Of course, of course. But if you look at any traditional shooter, multiplayer maps come out more frequently. So they want to make sure that people are okay with keeping their game because if they like the online content, they're going to be able to get free stuff. Next! Duh! Okay. Right. Margot Robbie has been cast to star in Robin in a Robin Hood movie that is based upon the Archer's Fair Lady, Maid Marian. The movie apparently will take place after Hood's death, in which Maid Marian takes up his cause and leads the people against the high class elites. I just want to say that Margot Robbie did beat out Jennifer Lawrence in this role. Ooh. Thank God. Really? Uh huh. You don't need Jennifer Lawrence carrying a bow again. Did you not like Hunger Games? I'm sick of Hunger Games. Never seen them. But that, that's to be expected of you, sir, not yep. seeing a movie. I, yeah, yeah, fair point. That is a good movie. I don't, I don't like Margot Robbie. I don't like her. You're I'm, fired. <laughs> because of, lost my job because again. of Suicide Squad or because of other stuff? I just don't like her as an actress. I don't, I don't know why. She just rubs me raw. Don't, I don't get it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Angelica. I don't like her. Maybe, maybe it'll change. So I never knew Maid Marian took over. Uh, unless this is like this is just this them movie. doing whatever. Okay, I'm I'm completely down with that. I wonder if this is Disney really like. Is this a live action Disney movie, or is this just Maid Marian? Are they just taking the the idea of Robin Hood? They're just yeah, okay. taking the idea. Okay, is that like a, a Snow White kind of thing? Exactly. They're just making stuff up. Next. Another Disney remake, Mary Poppins, set to release December 2018, is next up and will star Emily Blunt as the titular character. Thoughts? No one seems to care. So, uh, new song? Super Califragilistic Expialidocious? Don't care. Um, I'm excited for more Lynn manuel um, I forget his last name. But he is amazing. He's the guy that wrote all the songs for Moana. Oh! Yeah, the, the Hamilton guy? Yeah! Yeah, he's in this. He's the chimney sweep. Guy, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Whoop, whoop. Is it be Bert? What? Bert. Bert. Okay, then yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a couple of them, but I would assume that you're talking about the main one. Bert. Have just... you guys seen the set pictures yet? Mm -mm. They have them. Cool. Uh huh. Oh, boy, that's all the one of her being very cool. It's amazing. I don't. I'm not. I'm, I'm not on the train for the the live action. The, the remakes of of all these films. Just keep all these classics the same for the most part. I don't know if I like this idea. It's a continuation, though. Is it? It could be, is what I'm saying. It, could, it might not necessarily be just a remake. It could be a continuation from the last one. Next! Logan opening weekend plays fifth all-time for R-rated films openings and fifth behind X-Men franchise opening, losing to Deadpool, X-Men The Last Stand, Days of Future Past, and X2. Thoughts? That's about... I mean, not how I would rank those movies, but for the ones that did beat it, uh, that's that's good. I, that's I expect that. bad. That's not good. No, but these are these are good movies. X Men: The Last Stand was terrible. At the time. No, even now. No, that's now it is. But at the time. It was, it was all about the high school. No, no, I hated that leaving the theater. Yeah, that was bad for me. It's not the greatest movie, but like X Men was the peak of action like comic book movies back then. There wasn't very many. You look at Deadpool was the first big rated R movie that came out. Deadpool was the movie, the rated R movie that we thought we wanted. In my opinion, seeing the movie, and Gary, you might agree, I think Logan is the rated R movie that we actually wanted, that we deserve. So I, I made the mistake of watching The Wolverine after watching Logan, because I had never seen The Wolverine. So I watched Logan, then I watched The Wolverine. Big mistake. Your bar is so low now. Big mistake. <laughs> Watch The Wolverine first. Next! Big Star Games and Lionsgate are in partnership to create an action shooter based on Quentin Tarantino's 1992 classic Reservoir Dogs. The game will be a multiplayer top-down shooter where players control iconic characters from the film. Just in time, hopping on that Reservoir Dogs hype. I love Reservoir Dogs. And I'm sure it was a great movie back in 1992. Have you not? Now no, no, no. Have you seen Reservoir Dogs? Yes. Thank you. Have you seen it? No. God, thank you, Angelica. I also I, 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 I gather. Did they make a game? Like a PS2 game? Yeah, they did. It's probably terrible, but the movie is great. Good gosh. I don't know, they made a game already. Was that game great? Probably not, but okay, I can... So will this game be great? It will get my my at least interest. I love top down shooters, yeah. so for me it will it will it'll play a small part. Now the thing I don't want to happen is I don't want to get like holes filled in from the movie. Like, I don't want to know what happens in the bank heist or the jewelry heist. I don't want to know what happens to certain characters we never see. Let that stay a mystery. 
I was watching Logan uh, two days ago, and they oh. are bringing this back in the big screen for a small period of time. That was the one. That was the last time. <laughs> what? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <kidding. laughs> this is about Reservoir Dogs going back to the big screen. That's actually and... great. All right, guys, so that is our speed run for How this rude. week. How rude. How rude. That is our speed run for this week. Hey, come on. Cut it out. If you've got uh, some speedrun topics you'd like us to talk about next week, or if you have some thoughts and ideas on what we talked about this week, feel free to email us at supercoopsquad at gmail.com or hit us up on Twitter at supercoopsquad. All right, guys, moving into listener mail. So we've got uh, electronic email number one. Uh, Angelica, you can go ahead and take this one from Garrett. Okay, so this is from Austin. You guys have barely mentioned Red Dead 2 and conversations about huge games this year. It's a rock star game. That alone means it's pretty much going to be the biggest, highest selling game this year. It's the only company to take the top spot over the last 10 years in terms of sales over Call of Duty. This should be the game on everyone's radar. I'm taking days off work to play this and my wife knows to slide meals and food and water under the door. <laughs> I won't have spare time for things like food and hydration. Love the show! Thank you. First of all, thanks, Austin. Yeah, man. Secondly, you see that, babe? Now, if you could just slide some food <laughs> while I'm playing, like, Overwatch. But, but you know what that means. If, if you're sliding food under the door, you're in jail. <laughs> you are locked up. You're more likely to get underwear shoved in <laughs> under the door. <laughs> The underwear. <laughs> and shouldn't you be? I mean, she's a gamer. You should be sliding food to her. That's right. And you cooking the meals. <laughs> there you go. Take turns. No. <laughs> she's not. No. Rock paper scissors. Okay, but uh, to get to your your comment, uh, yeah, we, we haven't mentioned Red Dead Two that often. Uh, I do think it's gonna be a huge game. I think it's gonna be big. Just I don't know anything about it yet, other than it's coming. That's, that's all I really got. You got anything? All right, I just want to say, finally, it's about time. So you're a big Red Dead fan? No, I've never played it. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no. But I mean, I, I do have a good reason for it. Um, my stepdad he also plays games, and he was a huge Red Dead fan. And um, he likes things that I don't like, and I like things he doesn't like, and since he loved it so much, I was like, mm -mm. Oh, okay, you had to fall off. Yeah, I was like, no thanks. Okay, fair enough. So you probably like Samuel Jackson. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, you should get him a so I think uh, I think we don't talk about it like you said. Yeah, they, there's not much info, and that's just how Red Dead. That's how I'm sorry, Rockstar, Rockstar does it. Yep. They don't yeah. release five trailers and then have tech demos. They just make their game, and when it's out, it's out, and you don't hear anything about it. I'm sure we're gonna get a lot more news on it during E3. Probably we have to. I don't think we will. I think they'll show like a trailer, maybe talk about the the main character's name, and that's Ooh, it. We'll yeah, and but, that is it. But that's that's enough, right? You just. You hold out on all this information, and then you just give a little taste of what everybody's waiting for, and that's enough to tie over, what, two to three months before it launches? Everything you're saying, though, is the exact opposite of what other companies do. Yeah. Other companies have ten trailers, and then they have, like, a tech demo come out, and they talk about the game. They have someone, like, you know, play a demo from Twitch. Like, they don't just show one trailer and then one little thing, and then that's it. Yeah, but that's because those games aren't as grand and as big and as popular, so you have to shove it in people's face a million times to convince them to try to buy it. Uh, yeah, I can see that. It's I marketing. Mean, I mean, I, I, I am curious to see the marketing for Shadows of War compared to marketing for, I guess, Red Dead 2. Like, have we already seen more of Shadows of War than we have of Red Dead 2? Absolutely. That got announced last week. We already have had a 16-minute... last week. We've already had a 16-minute game, game video wow, release, yes. I did not know that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, it's great. Which one do you think is going to sell more, though? Oh, oh, Red Dead, clearly. There we go. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you for your email, Austin. We appreciate it, man. Good, good topic. Real quick. Go ahead. Uh, assuming that we get another Call of Duty game in this traditional time frame, do you think oh, Call of, Do you think Call of Duty will lose to Red Dead? Absolutely. Yep. Uh, yes, I do. Yep. I do think that will. Just, just like Austin was saying, in, in the 10 years, every year for like the last 10 years, Call of Duty has been the number one game for sales. The only year it wasn't was the year that uh, Grand Theft Auto V released. Yep. So this will happen. I would not be surprised if Activision actually takes a page out of Ubisoft's book, take a break for a year, and that being the year Red Dead comes out. Say, you know what? You guys got this one. 
they we actually want to sell games. They will not because they'll still make a lot. Yeah, even number two is still crazy big. True, so true. Cool. Thank you for your email, Austin. All right, uh, Joshua, you got uh, number two. All right, so we got Amir that emailed us. Amir. A mere statement is in response to our listener question from last week, which was, which game over the last 20 years needs a, a remake that has not had one in that time frame? So this is the game that he chose. Go ahead, Joshua. All right. Mir had told us the game they need to make another of is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I know they've got the Old Republic MMO, but that is simply not the same thing, and I don't count that as an entry into the franchise. The Star Wars universe has so many stories you can tell, and the game was so freaking fun. Bioware needs to go back to their roots with this and make it happen. I 1000% Mari agree. Amir is his name. No, no, but you know, like, I'm, I'm a thousand percent used to follow oh. Mari. <laughs> oh, I was going with that. I see what you did there. But yeah, uh, I 100% agree. Uh, the, the Old Republic MMO is not nearly as fun or, in my opinion, in-depth as uh, Knights of the Old Republic, uh, KOTOR. Uh, I would love, love at least just, just a remake. Give me a remake of the first one. It won't happen. Here's why. Disney now owns Star Wars. It will not happen. They will not partner with EA like the way we expect them to. Look at the fact that you know EA is now, I'm sorry, Star Wars and Disney are now partnering with like Square Enix for games. And uh, who's the other developer? There's another developer in there. It's not happening. Yeah. Well, Star you... Wars Battlefront. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Well, I don't know. I can't see it. Well, the last, uh, well, the before Star Wars Battlefront, we have a canceled EA game in Star Wars 1313 that uh, never got finished. So well, yeah, it got canceled. Yeah. So we'll. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what Disney's marketing strategy is if they're going to try to revive. Also, this particular franchise. Or not. Fact checked myself in in my head there. Marvel is uh, working with Square Enix, not Star Wars. Still Disney property, but it's Marvel that's working with Square Enix, not not the uh, Marvel. Yeah. So, Star Wars RPG. That's what we're talking that'd, about. That'd be awesome. I mean, I say give it time. The only Star Wars game we're getting other than Battlefront is Lego. Yeah, as, as they make the movies. Yeah. yeah that, fair yeah, point. That's just that. But I think give it some time. I think Bioware is probably interested in bringing back KOTOR one way or another, either a remake or a brand new franchise. I mean, they are still doing the Old Republic. So it, it's still going, just that's not the game uh, myself or Amir are looking for. Yeah. Same. Same. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited if they make that. I don't think it'll happen, but you know, here's hoping against hope. Hey, you know what? We'll get this before we get Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. <laughs> That'll happen. Okay. No, no, it's coming. <laughs> Gotta have faith. Yep. Gotta have faith, brother. I ran that Final Fantasy 15 train for the longest time. You guys told me months it's not coming. Yeah, <laughs> you got lucky. I'm curious to see if that. Well, that's off topic. Forget it. Thank Forget you. It. Forget it. All right. So uh, next week's listener question: What two game franchises would you pay good money to see a legit crossover of? So, so it, it can't be money. It has to be good money. Specifically, good money. Not so that bad not, money. Yeah, if you're not bringing, you bring that monopoly money. No monopoly what, money. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, you go somewhere else. All right. Dang. Okay. Cool. So that is uh, our our listener question for this week. Be sure to email us at supercoopsquad at gmail dot com. And as always, guys, we appreciate everyone that emails, tweets, messages, us, talks to us. It's a lot of fun, guys. We enjoy uh, chatting with you guys and uh, sharing your opinions. You can also hit us up with the answer uh, or your opinion on Twitter at supercoopsquad. All right, so passing the controller, we talk about what's going on with us outside of the podcast. Now, on here, Garrett says your name, but we're going to have ladies go first. So, uh, anything exciting going on in your life or anything that you're into, shows you're watching, what's going on with you? Oh, yes. Um, I'm watching Bates Motel, of course, like I mentioned earlier. Nice. Um, this is the final season. I am so pumped for this. Like, oh, my God. If you guys aren't watching it, please, please watch it. Yeah, my wife and I started checking out a couple of episodes. It was pretty cool. So It gets so much better. So. You must have been pretty scared then, because I think at one point it almost got canceled, didn't it? I feel um, like that almost happened. Yeah. I, I. Well, I mean, they had always planned out to do a five-season run, um, but I think their ratings got a little crazy there for a little while, but they just kept on pushing through. And, I mean, the actors are phenomenal, and especially Freddie Highmore. Like, ah, oh, I love you. And, and Vera Farmiga, huge fan. Nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Garrett, what you got? Just passing the controller to you. All right. Um, 
So I'm looking forward to spending a couple more hours with my lovely girlfriend before she has to go back to her home planet. But <laughs> other than that, Beauty and the Beast is coming out this week. Ugh. Boo! Yeah, boo! Yeah. Boo! I would just like to say that I am so happy that it is being released within a week because I am so tired of Emma Swan's little press junket. I'm this so... No, no, no. That's what I said. Emma Swan. <laughs> Listen, I am so tired of hearing her on interviews and her talking about whatever the crap she wants to talk about. Like, just freaking let it come out. I don't want to hear her anymore. I don't want to talk about this movie anymore. It's going to be horrible. It's legit nightmares if you watched any of the trailers. I'm not here for it. I freaking hate it. I don't it's, like you. It's my, it's my turn. To, uh, <laughs> like, I, I have the control. No one likes Beauty and the Beast. She, uh, <laughs> she was, you guys were playing Smash Brothers, and she pressed that star button and stole your life. No, we have the Switch, and she just took... Oh, yeah. Took yeah. one of the Joy-Cons? one of the Joy-Cons. <laughs> so you're excited that's, for that's it, Gary? That's what I'm looking forward to. All right. Cool. <laughs> Joshua, what about yourself? He's passing the controller to you. You get the Is third... plugged in? You Is get the third-party controller that you give to your cousin that you don't want him to use your good one. Pelican. <laughs> <laughs> I got the... <laughs> Nyko. I got this one that just breaks every other time. Zelda, 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 Zelda. I said that last week, but I actually got a more hands-on time. It is really, really good. Uh, there's a lot of new mechanics in here. It's All I want to do is explore. I've got like 15, nearly 20 hours in, and I haven't followed the same path. It tells you after you get outside the plateau, you says, now you says, it says, you can go here for this mission. I said, nope, I'm going that <laughs> way. And I'm a completionist. It's gonna be near impossible to try to complete this game but i'm always looking for little secrets i'm trying to find little hints there's a lot of cool stuff that they're tying into older games i saw online i didn't read the article that awada is like a character that they made in the game interesting so i i didn't read too much into it but uh it's it's i'm loving how this system the nintendo switch plays on the go because when you think about what it's meant to do you have a home console game that you can take with you to give you that same experience on the fly. And that's what it does. All right. I had to, at work, we got an internet upgrade, so I had to stay overnight for almost eight hours. About four of those hours, I'm just like, let me just play my Switch while this guy fixes my internet because it's down and it was well, awesome. All three of those hours. Uh, yeah. It only well, has I, three I, hour I, battery I, I life? My charger. I have <laughs> my charger with okay. it, but... Um, okay, I, cool. I am interested. I want to get hands on with it first uh, before I start watching some people speedrun it because apparently you can beat this game in like an hour and a half. Yeah, someone beat it in like under an hour, I think. Nice. Yeah, not. I don't think really because they like glitched their way. To no, because you can go to the end. Lets you, yeah, yeah, you can go straight says, to the end. Exactly. So, all right. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, that and I've been playing a lot more Street Fighter V. I noticed. Trying to jump my game up a little bit and it's just fun. It's oh, just fun. Wow. That's mean. Yeah. Alright, my turn. <laughs> yeah, here you go, Johnny. I hate going after you. Every week, it takes so long. Can we switch the order from now on? Because I hate it. I just think you're the people patient. I have a time. He doesn't have to be patient. You're you're passing the controller like 22 seconds. Because yeah. there's nothing to be patient for. Well, it's so fast. Well, the other time, he used to cut me off. And then... I struggled right now to not cut you off. Struggle. I appreciate that, but you're you're in such a rush. Yes, yes, I am to get to my stuff because my stuff's only you know, ten seconds. I'm playing disc jam, and I'm very upset oh, you that, started? that both of you have not played the game yet. I'm not well, seeing. Well, I'm sorry. Did, did you, you give me an invite? Message? Yeah, I waited for you guys to hop on. So what you're saying is our lives aren't important enough. We have to revolve around your. I'm playing sorry. Time. I should have texted you. But yes. you were online playing Street Fighter, and I was like, okay, he sees me playing Disc Jam. Where's he at? I did not see you playing Disc Jam. You know why? Because I'm He's looking at the fight I'm in right now. Uh, but this game is awesome. I am doing so well. Either people really suck, or I'm good at a second game. There's two games I'm good at now. I'm good at For Honor and Disc Jam. Well, granted, you've played this before, and most other people probably have not. It's Frisbee. There's nothing to get good at. Keep in mind that this is a free game right now, so anybody is downloading this. Everybody is downloading this. I have won. I've never lost. I've won over twenty matches in a row. Well, I've never the, lost. If you play the same person, that's not good. No, I like, played at least ten different people. That you know. Their names are different. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Kicking butt, loving it. So, is this something that you would recommend as a one-player experience? Have you done the co-op experience with your wife? Uh, yeah. So you can play uh, locally, one v one or two v two, and it's super fun. 
yeah, you can do that. It works very well. It's split screen, which is different, but it is what it is. Okay. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, that is our uh, our episode for this week. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed our podcast. And uh, don't forget to check out our sister podcast, Hooked on Comics, where Lila and I go over our favorite comic books as they release each week and discuss a legacy story from the pantheon of great comic books in trade form every week as well. And uh, thank you, Angelica, for uh, joining us on uh, today's episode. It's been a pleasure having you, and I am very ashamed that we got our bus kicked in trivia. Yeah. <laughs> you liked it. You liked it. You know it. Oh, thank man. you guys so much for having me on here, though. Seriously, I am a huge fan. Awesome. Well, thank, thank you. you. Where can people find you? Oh, um, um, on Twitter, at uh, literally gel. That would be me. All right. Sounds good. Well, as always, guys, thank you for listening, and I'm Johnny Mack. I'm Garrett. I'm Joshua. And I'm Angelica. Bye.